I think Hoodle senses something. Mahogsar. That makes four out of the five realms that I've visited. Barely target practice. Then why bother fighting them? Because I certainly won't run away from a battle. A fish! I didn't realize there was a pond here. Yeah, this is Taka Pond. And it happened to have saved my life once upon a time. What do you mean? As a kid, I survived life under the past lords by escaping here when I needed to. It's terrible to swim in, but great for catching a bite for dinner away from Ren and eyes. Bear in mind, our rations back then weren't enough to live off of. You had to take matters into your own hands if you wanted enough food to survive. But how did you catch them? With your bare hands? That might take a while. Fish are prone to swim away at the first sign of trouble. I'd put bait or a lure on a line and use it with a fishing rod. You must not be familiar with fishing if this sounds new to you. Here, let me show you how it's done. Now, where might those fish be? <laughs> All right. Anybody could reel in that. Guess it's important to stay calm. Reel it in. Tag Nabbit, it got away. Reel it in.
Anybody could reel in that. You sure know what you're doing. And that's all there is to it. Wow. It seems like you need to have good reflexes to catch anything. I don't know if it's really for me. Kisara? I think I've seen enough. Oh, oh, sorry. I guess I'm just in my own little world when I go fishing. Looks like we're going to be here for a while. That's how fishing goes. You wait for a bite, and then the real battle begins. Magal told me that different fish live in different regions, and you have to pick the right rod and lure for what you're hoping to catch. But that doesn't change the fact it's a giant time sink. Of course, each fish has its own unique flavor, too. And some of them are supposed to be extremely delicious. And you put it like that. Maybe it's worth me trying my hand at fishing after all. You're just in it for the food. I was hoping we'd get to fish during our travels. And it just so happens I made sure to grab my brother's old rod before I left Vicent. So, if you ever feel like fishing when we've got a little downtime, just let me know. Good to hear. Thanks for showing us. Okay! I'm always amazed what healing arts can do. Just doing my job. No need to thank me. <sighs> hey. Hmm? Is it just me, or have those two barely spoken a single word to one another? I know, right? But after everything that happened with Magal, is it really any wonder? Kind of puts a damper on the whole journey, though, huh? How long do you think they're going to keep this up? If it bothers you that much, why don't you ask them? Why do I have to ask? How come you walk together like that? <gasps> she really doesn't beat around the bush. You mean Kisara and myself? You hadn't noticed? You've been practically joined at the hip ever since we left Vicent. I guess it's force of habit, most likely. I was always ready to protect him, should the need arise. It sort of came with the job description. Right. From being in the Elder Menencia Guard. Although, Dohalim's pretty capable of defending himself, isn't he? Having guards doesn't necessarily mean the one being guarded is weak. No one's perfect all the time. Even so, it's not like they're entirely wrong, Gisara. You're no longer in my employ, after all. I don't know. I mean, if it's what she's used to and you're both comfortable with it, then who are we to judge? But she doesn't serve him anymore. It isn't normal for her to keep following him around like she still does. You know, she's probably right. And a lot has changed over the last few days. I guess it wouldn't hurt to rethink our relationship in light of the new circumstances. Perhaps I'll give it some thought, after all. Does that sound all right by you? Of course. You might want to stop asking his permission for every little thing while you're at it. <sighs> Sorry. It's not that easy, shaking off old habits. I'll probably need a little time to get fully used to it. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard.
All right. There's nowhere to run from my heart. When he slows down, that's our chance. In a bind, leave the agile ones to me. This one's begin. Prepare to be seen. In a bind, water. I don't perform as well when I'm observed. Got some interesting moves there, Dohalim. I'm glad you're on our side. I'm simply glad to hear that I can make myself useful to you all. Huh? What's wrong? We seem to have come across some rather unusual objects. What, you mean that pile of garbage? No mere garbage, I assure you. Still, I've never seen anything shaped like it before. I'm intrigued. Uh, uh... Are you curious about this stuff, Rinwell? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I think he might have found some old Danon relics. They look like the remains of a bunch of objects that disappeared after the Renans first invaded. And yet here I am, holding them without so much as a second thought. I imagine this sight must be unsettling to you. Not really, just that it must be nice to be a Renan who has time to indulge in stuff like that. Unlike the rest of us. Are you interested in this stuff too, Dohalim? Charmed may be a better turn of phrase. I simply love objects that can give me a sense of what their maker was thinking. The history that went into their creation. You see, we Renans have hardly any such objects that trace back to our distant past. I still don't understand what you two find so intriguing about it, though. Why not? We're talking about our own culture here. I get that, but it's not like this stuff is any use now, does it? It's just old. Real old. Oh, but it does. Holding it in your hands like this, one can feel and engage with the distant past in a way no history book can ever accomplish. I'll take your word for it. Well, seeing as it's Dan in history, just make sure you're careful with it. All right, Dohalim? But of course. Some time. Take care not to get ambushed. I'm surprised you know the terrain here so well. Lords don't strike me as having much time for wandering in the woods. Sometimes I would take strolls along here when I wished to be alone. You always did have a bad habit of disappearing without telling any of us guardsmen. Here. I can feel my feet getting blisters. That's mountain hiking for you. It can be pretty tough if you're not used to these sorts of trails. I take it you're comfortable with them then? Oh, yeah. We Out of our way! Slut! Oh, right there! the tables on him. There are still oh, more left. Mind. Right. No time to hold back. Show us the arc! Falcon. More Dan and ruins here too, I see. What were people even thinking back then? 
trying to build anything around here. M maybe they just had that much time and energy on their hands. <sighs> I sure have built up a sweat with this hike. Rest assured, we have reached the top. It's all downhill from here, quite literally. So Mahog Sars just up ahead then? Indeed. If you look, across this mountain is the Lord's Keep. What's this place here? Some kind of old house? Hmm. I don't know about that. If I... I can't say its appearance is to my tastes, personally. Still thinking about how to act around Dohalim? That obvious, huh? Except I don't think I'll be changing much after all. Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to stay his servant. However, I am going to treat him like a fellow comrade, the same way I would with you or anyone else. For as long as I can remember, I've spent my life protecting others. But isn't that what friends do too? Support and protect one another in times of need? Which, in the end, pretty much means doing as you've always done, right? If that's what you're most comfortable with, I'm certainly not going to give you any grief over it. Actually, I've been thinking about how I ought to act around you all as well. Oh? When I set out on this journey, it was to rid Eldamen and Sia of its enemies, and search for wisdom in the outside world. Wisdom that I could potentially put to use on my return. I'm grateful to you all for letting me tag along. But it got me thinking. What am I actually contributing by being here? What are you talking about? You know how to hold a weapon, don't you? That's help enough. Is it, though? Sometimes I wish there was more I could be doing to pull my... 
Oops, sorry about that. Jeez, I'm famished. Now that you mention it, what do you guys normally do for food and meals when you're out and about on your travels? What do you mean, what do we do? We find stuff to eat and eat it. So long as it's meat, I'm not fussy. Eating what you like can be good for morale in the short term, but you need to think about your diet if you want to stay healthy. Does that mean eating vegetables too? Isn't that obvious? It does, which I guess hasn't been happening up till now. Yeah, to be honest, we could be eating better than we do. Understood. In that case, I'll just have to make sure you're all staying healthy and eating right myself. Fortunately, I happen to know a thing or two about cooking as well. You hear that, Law? Sounds like you'll be eating your greens after all. Uh, what is it? No, sorry, it's just... I was just wondering if you had any thoughts on all this. It will do her good to have a project. No, not Kisara. I meant you. Was there anything you wanted to add? Me? Certainly you're not looking to me for culinary skill, I hope. <laughs> Typical Renan. Leaving everything to someone else. Rinwell, I don't think... That said, should you need my skills on the battlefield, please rest assured I have no intention of shirking my responsibilities, regardless of who we may face. I'm sure no one doubts that. Listen, guys, if we're traveling together, we should probably at least try to make an effort to get to know one another, don't you think? I wouldn't get your expectations too high in that regard. Believe it or not, sometimes I'm not sure I even know myself all that well. Hey, let's stop for a minute. What's up? You already tired? My armor's pretty heavy. I think I need a little rest. I second that. All of this walking is starting to take its toll on me as well. What? You don't look it. We can't spare the time. There's places we need to be. Mahogsar's capital, Niaz, is our destination right now. But if one of us collapses... It will only serve to slow us down. And in your case, Alfin is the only one who could carry you. Best to rest while you have the opportunity. I- Enough already! I need a break, so we're taking one. <sighs> I don't need you fretting over me. Fretting? Hey, it's not like I'm- for you. For me? Why? <laughs> He's tough. Who are you? You said you were looking for me. Why? Beautiful, precious life. What the? That is all I desire. Then why are we fighting? Who even are you? Uh, I'm not this. 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 I'm who the hell are you? <clears throat> Bastard! This guy's not normal! His speed is unbelievable! You mean he even surpasses a lord? Rise and oh, yeah. Take this! Try harder! Alpha. Slash it! Enjoy! Take Ready. this! Slash! Uh, <laughs> Round it off! Here's a healing heart! Catapult! Oh, oh, first aid! I can carve through Take armor! Take this! Take this! It's over! I'll take you! I'll heal you! Tempest! Blood! Healing circle! This 
death shall not be. And just like that, I'm back in it. Is that all that you've got? Very well, then die. Me. Oh, sorry. It's okay. And so am I. <clears throat> uh, it's not as bad as it looks. Not bad. That's Shion. We thought I'm you were- I'm fine. Really. What the hell were you thinking? Well, you were trying to protect me too, you know. Yeah, but I have the sword. It's different. It's not different. Besides, I- Hmm? Never mind. It's nothing. Anyway, uh, thank you. But I, I didn't. Look, I'm just glad that you're... Uh? Alfin? Sorry, I... That guy said he'd be back. I think maybe we should get moving before he returns, right? Rinwell has a good point. We need to go. Shion, are you sure you're okay? Shion, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I already applied some healing arts to it. It didn't even leave a scar. But his sword went nearly straight through you. I'm all right. Unless I've turned into some kind of ghost and I'm haunting you all right now. 
No, I know you're not. It's just... Look, I appreciate you looking out for me, but I'm fine, really. There was also that strange light that appeared when Xion was stabbed. It seemed to make the enemy retreat when he saw it. Alfin, do you have any idea what it might have been? A light? I don't know. I was kind of preoccupied with other things at the time. Hmm. Now that I think of it, between that light and the blazing sword, just what sort of person are you, Alfin? Can you use Dan and astral arts like Rinwell, perhaps? He wouldn't know, Dohalim. He doesn't have any memories from his past, remember? Besides, we should really be getting out of here. I suppose you're right. Forgive me. We've almost reached Niaz, the capital of Mahagsar. With any luck, we'll find a place there for Xion to rest. <sighs> hey. Are we in the right place? This place looks like a mess. Yes, this is Niez, the capital of Mahag Sar. I don't see any signs of people. And the buildings. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the kind of place people would actually live. No soldiers, no Danans, not a soul to be seen. Yet look at these facades. This is clearly a Renan district. Hey, check out that drawing on the castle gate. That's the Darkwing's crest. It's from an old Danon legend about a hero who defeated an evil king with a torch and their trusty owl. That's his crest. I'm sure of it. Really? First time I'm hearing it. So if someone drew it on the gate... It must mean the Renans have lost control of the city. Are you suggesting the Danans rose up and defeated the Lord here? Hard to believe, but not entirely unthinkable, given the evidence. Let's look around and see if we can find someone. They might be able to tell us what happened. <sighs> this is horrible. Is there truly no one here? <laughs> 